Hello everyone. So right now my dad is on his way home in a 900 horsepower Hellcat and you're probably wondering why. It's one of my dad's friend's cars and he wanted my dad to do some work to it. I believe he had my dad install a chiller for the supercharger. I, I don't exactly remember how it works so I can have him explain it later but I think it uses the AC to help like cool the supercharger down and all that so everything stays nice and cool and it'll get a little bit more power out of it so i'm super excited to see this thing in a little bit i'm gonna definitely show you guys the car so without further ado here's the hellcat all right everyone it is almost here i think i pretty much i'm pretty sure i just heard it it's gonna be coming up here soon there it is the 900 horsepower hellcat Boy, this thing is nuts That thing's crazy. No, this car is stupid. Like, I forgot it. The truck for it. Yeah, it's nuts. That sounds so cool. <laughs> That's fast. Yeah, that's crazy fast. It's like dangerous fast. Like you got to be really careful what you do with this car because this car would be a lot of fun to take around the Glen. But well, it'll be sketchy because you got to like feather the throttle. Yeah, exactly. And that's not even. I think I don't. Well, I don't know if his tune defeats traction control and stuff because you can put these in uh, <clears throat> in another mode that actually. Oh yeah, I guess this has got launch control. It does? Yeah. All these like... That supercharger sounds so cool. I know, they sound cool. Yeah, yeah it cools the... It, it sends the intercooler coolant through another exchanger that exchanges the, top, the heat with the air conditioning. It's like a, it's a chiller, so it uses air conditioning, refrigerant when the AC's on to cool the intercooler coolant. But I don't think all the air is bled out of it yet. Because I had to put it in a different spot because once I, the guy he got it from, once I realized where he had it mounted, and like you gotta like cut out part of the inner bumper and I'm like, I'm not cutting up this guy's car. 
Yeah. Like, that's ridiculous. So I mounted I had to re-engineer a place to mount it where I didn't have to, like, you know, ruin the car. I'm like, no, that's stupid, you know? Yeah. So I don't know what normal, like, he told me the intercooler temperature's getting pretty high before when he's, like, running down a quarter mile with it and stuff. So really? I don't know really what... Like that quick? Yeah, because when you run, I don't know what this thing runs for boost at, like, you know, full boost. But it cre you create a lot of heat when you pressurize air like that, so... Yeah, this car, like, you can't even, like, utilize the power of this car. First time I got on it, it was breaking the tires. <laughs> it's like incredible. Like you can't even stay on it. Yeah, like that's if crazy. you if you got on the expressway in one of these stock and you were going 55 and you just floored it, you'd spin the car out. That's nuts. Yeah, it's a fun car. It's got to be ridiculous with slicks on it. Oh yeah, well this is the car he ran. He had a nine second pass with it, like nine nine something I think or something like that. And other than the engine mods, this car is pretty much stock. Yeah, it is pretty much stock. do it for this week's video I really hope you all enjoyed that Hellcat is freaking crazy it makes over 900 horsepower just on the street tune and it makes 1100 on the race tune which is just insane so yeah that car is freaking awesome and it was so cool getting to ride in it but yeah thank you all so much for watching if you made it this far into the video only around seven percent of my viewers who watch my videos are actually subscribed so if you're not subscribed and you enjoyed the video feel free to hit that subscribe button so yeah thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this week's video so yeah i will see you guys next week I think next week will be another Race Wars video because we're going back and doing that on Saturday. And then we're going to have a bunch of go-kart stuff and who knows what else next, the following week after. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye everyone.